No, it's not worth the stress. Uh, my heir is unmarried. Because no one wants to marry you because I've made terrible decisions. Uh, this is not the best, but he needs the prestige. Um, that's the best prestige you can get right now. So, these are all the best decisions, you know. The other thing is, it, you know, it doesn't hurt to pause the, the game and really kind of like think about what your next move is going to be. Because there's so many different things that you need to do, you know. So like for me right now is figuring out in my plan of, you know, domination, it's like, do I take on, you know, these guys? More importantly, it's like, how can I eliminate them as threats? And I think that's what it's really going to come down to. And, you know, it's, uh, it's challenging. You know, I can't even, uh, can't even make an alliance. My daughter, let's see if I can get my daughter. Oh, what if I got my son or someone in their family? But no, it didn't work. I want my daughter. Can I get my daughter to marry someone in their family? Nope. Let's see. Who's their other... So these guys, who's their other friend? Let's see if I can do something this way. Um, if I can get my daughter... Uh, hmm. So I won't let my daughter do it. What about my son? Will they let my son marry end to the family? No. Wow. What, if, what about my powerful son? They won't let him marry to the family either? Interesting. Okay. What about me? <laughs> They do not like me at all. I mean, I don't blame them though, you know. I've given them nothing but a lot of reasons to not like me. So, it looks like my next option, I'm gonna go for the jugular, you know. I'm gonna try to subjugate these guys, because they are, they're a high chieftain. And... It'll really give me the hold over here, and I'd like to have my territory kind of together versus scattered. But, oh man, it's going to be intense. It is going to be really intense. It's going to cost 750. Actually, I'm curious how much it's going to cost to subjugate these guys. Seven fifty is the same thing. Okay. And where is their capital? Oh gosh, their capital is located in the wetlands. I don't think any of my soldiers are trained for wetlands. Ooh, we're minus damage in the wetlands. Yeah, this is not looking pretty at all. Hmm. Yeah, that's challenging. That's going to be challenging. So I need to think what is the best strategy. I mean, I guess the Borgu would be the best strategy. And uh, I take them out. Because I can't afford, I can't risk putting my people in the wetlands and having them just die trying to siege this place as... There are many alliances, you know, just destroy me. Let's see. So they have these guys, which is like 200. That's not that much. These guys, which is two. Yeah, that's that's what's a lot. And then these guys, obviously. I wonder, though, if I could try to win these people over. Anybody in their kingdom that let me marry? Nope. Alright. 
<laughs> At least I tried. Let's see. Well, we're going to take this kingdom eventually. We're going to usurp it. It's much easier than declaring war on it. Although, I'm wondering if I could keep the war in this area without having it go down here, I could probably handle it. But I would probably need to hire a mercenary company. And they're all so expensive, I can't afford any of them yet. Well, there's always an option to go raid. Let's do that. Um, Let's raid. Let's build some raiders and see what we can get. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I'm at war. That's why. Ah, uh, this war is so stupid. I can't even raid right now. Although, what I will say, though, look, look at the fact that we actually built a kingdom. You know, it's uh, didn't start off as much, but it um, turning into something. So that's good. Let's go to succession real quick and see if I can disinherit. Yes. Great. And that's good. Can I imprison my own son? Uh, all of the Dara family. Really? All my subjects will lose opinion of me. And that's tough, too, because we really want to maintain a uh, positive opinion. So what we'll do, though, we'll sway them. Um, so we do want to keep this absolute tribal authority thing going. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, we can find a new empire. That's a lot of money. What else do I need? I have this. I need to organize my faith. Uh, I guess I need to... Uh, really start, you know, building this up to be something. 27 years, are you kidding me? That's a lot. Chieftain of Bornrose Mori. So yeah, let's, I want to organize my faith. I'm not sure how. Hmm. Let's go to my religion. Roof create head of faith. I declared Ina. Though the righteousness of our faith was never in doubt, the period of time we are forced to endure that spiritual rule of Oh, it's great! We are officially. So now that we have a head of faith, I guess? Reform the Bori faith, reform the Bori faith, choose the tenets and the doctrines. Wait, so let me see if this means. If that was actually like one of the things. No, it's still not an organized faith. Organized faith is a religious hierarchy worship practices more than a scripture can formalize. Unreformed pagan faiths can become organized by reforming. Okay. So let's reform the faith. Oh gosh, look how much that costs. <laughs> so much. Wow. Hmm. So it cost that much? Alright, then. The good thing is everyone will convert though. So Let's see, we're going to have to develop mid level and chieftain of Dara's greater than equal to 10. Oh wow, what's my development level now? Not that high. So at least I know what i got to do. Let's build the development. 13 years! It's like these people don't want me to succeed. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have to think, think, think. Well, you know, it's a process. We'll get there. We will get there.